Today we're in Zagreb, Croatia. Zagreb's the capital city of Croatia and it is a very ancient city. The first written records of the city are from around 1100 so it is a beautiful city because of that. We are going to be exploring the food culture here in Zagreb but we also want to show you food from all over Croatia because the food here is very regional. So we're going to be showing you food from the coastal regions of Croatia to food from the central regions. What we've eaten so far and discovered here in Zagreb is absolutely delicious so let's get into it. In the Zagreb series we're sharing with you traditional Croatian food and eating where the locals eat. In this video we take you for a huge seafood feast and share with you cheesy strukli, one of Zagreb's iconic dishes. Join us for a taste of Croatia's sweets at an old school cake shop and visit a Zagreb fast food institution for a classic toasted sandwich. You don't want to miss this series, get ready for some mouth watering food. I'm Thomas and I'm Sheena and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry, let's eat. I'm so pumped about today's video. We've got lots of Croatian foods to share with you. Uh, we're heading to our first spot which is a seafood restaurant and to get there we're walking through Dolak Market and Dolak Market is the main market in Zagreb and we're just walking past all of the, the fruit and vegetable vendors. The vegetables look so vibrant. So the seafood restaurant, which is, I can see it right now, is on the edge of the square. There's lots of uh, tables outside, so we can sit outside to eat our seafood feast. Let's get into it. Wow. Yum. We ordered a couple of glasses of white wine to start us off and a bunch of seafood. The waiter just came over and said, this is what's fresh, uh, sardines, uh, prawns, calamari. We ordered all three and also another uh, special Croatian uh, vegetable dish. We came to this particular restaurant because the owner is a fishmonger and in actual fact, the, the seafood market is right next door. And I love that we can actually sit outside. So even though it's winter time, we can be out in the elements. We've got the market just uh, right in front of me so you can see all of the action. This is going to be a really good meal I reckon. Voila! Perfect! <laughs> a fried food feast has arrived. So we have a ton of seafood on this incredible huge tray. Look how good this calamari looks. So it's just floured and salted and, and deep fried. So these beautiful little bits of golden calamari. We've got these beautiful prawns. So again, just a very light flowering and they've been deep fried. So whole prawns, beautiful orange color from those. And then some sardines. So some really nice little sardines. Again, just floured and look at the, um, the texture of them. They're just so crispy on the outside. And then this dish is blitfa, which is a really traditional accompaniment to seafood here. So it's Swiss chard, some potatoes, some garlic, so a very simple vegetable dish. And seafood is such a big thing here in Croatia. So they have a very long coastline. So even though we're inland now here in Zagreb, the seafood still comes inland every day. So you get fresh seafood here because there's such a culture of eating seafood. And it's so amazing sitting right here in the middle of the square. So the market sits in the middle of the square. They're all just packing up their um, fruit and vegetables now. So we're watching all the work being done and we're sitting here with this giant plate of seafood and some wine to wash it all down. Loading up my plate with all the seafood and then this blitva. We've got some nice big juicy wedges of lemon. So I'm just gonna, oh, <laughs> I hope I didn't get the camera there. Uh, drench all of my seafood with the lemon. I've got to get into these prawns. They look so juicy. So rip that head off. Wow. And I love sucking prawn heads. I love getting all those juices out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Beautiful flavor in that prawn. Super sweet. And I love how they're just very lightly floured. So let me rip the shell off this bad boy. Mmm, so good. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> wow. Very sweet and cooked to perfection. So the meat has a little bit of bite left to it. It's just the most pure, beautiful flavour. Mmm. Oh, God, they're good. 
is give this split for a go. So a traditional accompaniment to seafood, so potatoes, Swiss chard and garlic. Mm. Super simple. Probably needs a little bit of salt. Potatoes very creamy. The Swiss chard has been cooked right down, so it's very soft, but a very uh, pure flavor in that Swiss chard. It's really good. Nice, big piece of lemon. We'll get it all over this seafood. I've got some sardines and some calamari here. I want a little piece of calamari to start me off. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, very good. I love it when calamari is like that, just so lightly floured. So you can truly taste the calamari. Sometimes it's just too thick in a very thick batter. Takes over from the seafood. That is fantastic. Mmm. Oh. Mm. And the texture of that is incredible. Very soft, not chewy at all, so very well cooked. And the it's got a nice crunch from that flour, but squirting the lemon on there just took the edge off that crunch, so it's not super crisp on the teeth. Now time for a sardine. I love whole sardines. Look at this guy. Oh, you can see all the bones in there, but they should be fine to eat, so we'll just dive right on it. Oh my god. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. The sardines are unreal. Oh, even though they're small, they're quite fat. So they're fat and juicy. They've got a lot of flesh on them. And they're a very oily fish sardine. So you get just a burst of flavor, a big burst of flavor. And then the tanginess of the lemon we put on there. They've been quite heavily salted, so they've got a nice saltiness as well. Oh, they're well cooked. That, so the calamari and those sardines just perfectly cooked. Um, sardines can go a little bit uh, squeaky on the teeth if they get overdone. So like a lot of oily fish can get a bit squeaky on the teeth if it's been overdone and that is not overdone at all. This meal is brilliant. Very, very fresh seafood cooked very simply. It's the best way to enjoy seafood in my opinion. And this is amazing, loving it. We've been wandering around the streets of uh, Zagreb. It's a great city to explore on foot. So there's lots of little side streets. So you can really get lost in the streets and explore. It's a really neat place on foot. So now we've got an appetite again and we're heading for the dish that everyone says you have to have when you're in Zagreb. It's called Strukli and it is a very cheese heavy dish. So we're going to a place just up the road here. This little Strukli restaurant has a beautiful courtyard out the back and it's the perfect day for it. It's a lovely day here in Zagreb. Oh. Zagoski Strukli is a really traditional Croatian dish. It's made up of a special dough and then it's filled with fresh cottage cheese. So they uh, specialize in this dish at this restaurant. They've got a bunch of different flavors. You can get savory ones, you can get sweet ones. We went with the traditional. Thank you, it looks so Hi. impressive. Our strukli has arrived and how impressive does it look? It's served in this little baking dish and it is, whoa, look at that wobbly ass and it smells absolutely beautiful. So what it is, all on the top here, it's covered in a local sour cream and this is the traditional version. So what it is, it's just a special dough that's filled with a mixture of eggs, uh, local sour cream and cottage, fresh cottage cheese and then it's rolled up and you can get it baked which is the one that we've got or boiled. Now we've had both but we prefer the baked version and so this is the one that we're sharing with you right now. Let's rip into this thing. It's got a little bit of a skin which is formed on the top. I'm gonna go right in the middle and we can see um, so we can see what's inside. So look at that. So you can see the pastry in there and then the cottage cheese filling and this thing is hot. The steam is rising up from it. Let's get a, a big mouthful. Look at this. Mmm. Mmm. Super hot. Mmm. Oh. It's a lot more subtle than I was expecting. So the dough 
is very soft. It almost reminds me of a soft pasta dough. So it sort of just collapses in your mouth. It's very soft. And then that, that cottage cheese is very subtle as well. It's got a great texture. Mm. It also has a salty cheese added into it. But it's, um, it sort of comes through as an aftertaste. It's got a very strong flavour from that sour cream. It's overall just like a really um, a beautiful dairy flavour. I'm intrigued to have this strictly because we've had a few versions of this on the build up to filming. We've had sweet ones, we've had boiled ones, um, and they've been all right, but they haven't been majorly stand out. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad we saved the classic for filming. This is, fan this is just fantastic. Ooh. Oh, it's hot. Wow, the texture is amazing. It's very squishy. Uh, textually, it has sort of a mac and cheese sort of thing going on. So that dough is very squishy still. So like a really well-cooked pasta. And then that cheese, that super creaminess from the cheese and the baked bits on top just add a little bit of um, different flavor and texture. This is very, very good. So. This really jumps out to me. This is a fantastic dish. Very tasty and great saltiness from the cheese. This next place we're gonna eat is a Zagreb institution, a fast food institution. It's been around since 1987, so it has some very neat history. Now we have eaten here already and it is great, but what we haven't done is eaten their very famous sandwich. We've been saving that to show you guys in this video. So it's just up here and this is a, a little stand, sort of a street food style stand. Uh, normally it's very popular after drinking, so very late at night, but it's definitely not just drinking drunken food. So let's head in and grab this sandwich. I'm so psyched to try their famous toasted sandwich. I am a huge fan of toasted sandwiches and they've got something on the menu which uh, showcases this special Croatian ham. So that's the one we're going to order. It's a very just simple spot. They've got a couple of leaners. Dobadan! How are you? I'm good. And you? Good thanks. Can we please get... Yes you can. <laughs> um, the sandwich with the bujdala? Bujdala. Yeah. I don't have bujdala, it's bujdala. 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 Is that right? Bujdala. No, bujdala. Bujdala. Bujdala, yeah. Bujdala. But it's cute. <laughs> the guys are teaching me how to say the name of the, the special smoked ham properly. So it's bujdala. Bujdala, yeah. Bujdala. Bujdala. Okay. <laughs> One of those. One of those. So with cheese, isn't it? Yeah, cheese and bujdala. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The toasty is on the grill. The guys are really friendly here and I really like this setup. It's just a, a, a street food stand really. They've got a couple of leaners here uh, and so we've ordered this special toasted sandwich which uh, has burjola in it. Burjola, I think I pronounced that correctly. A smoked ham. Wow, oh, look at that. Mayonnaise, garlic mm, mayonnaise. Nah, Nothing. just, 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 just like that. pure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Voila. We will. Got the little sandwich and we went totally simple. So you can add things like mayonnaise and garlic sauce, but we went completely simple, natural, traditional version. So can I open it? We'll just try and oh yes. Look at that. That ham. Oh, look at all the fat through that ham. So the, the ham is a very special type of ham. It's called budula, and it's from, um, from the, the pig's neck. So it's a very special cut of ham, and it's smoked um, with uh, beech wood. So it should have a very strong, smoky flavor as well. And there is a whole lot of cheese in there too. So look at all that cheese lined up along the top. I love how simple this looks. Oh. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Wow, that, that bread is, is toasted and it's gone sort of toasted right through, so it just exploded into a fine powder. I didn't get much of the ham or the cheese, so I'm just going to dive right in. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's better. Ham and cheese toasties. I mean, what a combination. And this is a very lovely ham. It's, um, it's a bit more subtle than I thought it would be. So it's got a very dark color, a lot of that fat running through there. So I thought it was gonna have a very strong smoky flavor um, and be very rich, but it's not. It's very subtle, quite a mild ham. And then the cheese they've used, I'm not sure what type of cheese it is, but it's a very mild, soft cheese. So it's not overly melted. It's not mega gooey. Um, it's just a lovely, simple cheese. So sort of a, a Edam style cheese, just very easy going, which works so well with that ham. It's not too full on. Mmm, the ham is beautiful. Very good ham and that amount of fat on it is just coming through. The perfect amount just to soften it all up. This is an awesome street snack. I really like this place because it shows the, the difference in some of the food options here. So everywhere I've eaten has been about five minutes walk from each other. So we've had the restaurant, we've had that beautiful garden setting, and now I've got a street food style setting. So there's many different options really close together here in Zagreb. And that sandwich, which Sheena is devouring in there, is incredibly good. Sweets are a very important part of Croatian food culture. And just around the corner from where we're staying, we discovered this very uh, old school cake shop which specializes in traditional Croatian cakes. And cakes that we haven't seen anywhere else in the city. So we want to share some of our favorites with you. Let's head inside. Dobadan. So this little cake shop has got a ton of traditional Croatian cakes all lined up. They're all so interesting looking and it's very hard to make a choice, but we went with three. <laughs> wow. I really love the old school uh, feel of this cake shop and it was impossible to make a decision. There's such a lineup of various uh, traditional Croatian cakes. Uh, there's just so much choice. And um, we're so excited to be able to share this with you because we haven't seen uh, another cake shop quite like this in Zagreb. So really traditional Croatian cakes. We went with three choices. We've got this one here, which is called a creme schnitte. It's essentially a custard uh, slice. Look how wobbly that custard is. is. This one here is a punz torta, which is a, a butter cake. And then in the middle, it's got a, a filling which is drenched in rum punch. And it's got this really candy color, candy colored, candy floss colored icing on the top. And then this spectacular looking thing, which is made up of marshmallow. It's sitting in like a pastry tartlet case. Uh, one, two, three, four stories high, and then just covered in a chocolate icing. I'm gonna start with the creme schnitte, because anything with custard and I'm a super huge fan of. So essentially, you've got this really thick layer of wobbly custard sandwiched between a flaky puff pastry. And I think actually there's a layer, yes, underneath there of meringue. And you can see how aerated that custard is. So it's been whipped to within an inch of its life. All right, ah, like listen to that, that flaky pastry. Whoa. I think I've got to go, whoa. It sounds so flaky and beautiful. I've got a big blob of custard here too. All right. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. That custard is so airy and light. So it's less, uh, creamy I suppose, not really like a, a creamy custard. It's very uh, light and aerated and I think that's from uh, the, the beating of the egg whites that are in there. Very, very sort of almost foamy. And that, uh, th that pastry is very light and flaky. I really like the meringue too. It sort of gives it a, a, a sticky consistency. Mmm. Mmm. I love that it's not too sweet either. It's just the perfect sweetness, quite subtle in fact. <laughs> this chocolate dessert 
looks incredible. This one's really exciting me just because of the, the look of it. And what it makes me think of is as a child going to the bakery and standing there as a little kid looking at the cabinet and there was always something in the cabinet that you desperately wanted but your parents wouldn't get for you. And for me, this is that item. You'd look at it with just wide eyes going, what is that? But you never actually got to have it. And now I'm an adult, so I get to have it so I can make my own decisions. Let's just dive right in, crack into this chocolate. Oh, such a thin layer of chocolate. Oh, wow, it's so soft. Oh, I'm not sure if this is marshmallow. I think Sheena said it's marshmallow, but look at that. That looks like meringue all over there. So big bit of meringue. How the heck am I gonna eat this? We'll break it up a little bit more. Get a whole lot of everything. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. It's meringue. Oh. There's a whole lot of meringue. Just a plain biscuit down the bottom. And then a, a hardened chocolate sauce. So like a chocolate shell over the top and that is insanely easy to describe because that tastes exactly like it looks sweetened meringue a plain biscuit and some chocolate there's there is nothing else going on there it is exactly what it says on the box and it is good it's very sweet though so i'm gonna have a little bit of espresso mm, perfect combo so bitter espresso the coffee and that very sweet meringue and chocolate Combo. That's a really neat dessert. Okay, time for this rum punch cake. So it's covered in this candy floss colored pink icing. And then let's just get it on its side. It's a butter cake. And then in the middle, the filling has been soaked with a homemade rum punch or probably a rum essence. And it's got things like jam and whatnot in there as well to give it a bit of sweetness. We've actually had this one before and really loved it. So I had to share it with you. Okay. Mmm, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. It's very moist, very sweet, and that rum flavor comes through beautifully. It's sort of almost fruity. So that uh, plain butter cake works really well with that, that rum flavor. This has been such a great day of eating in Zagreb. Tons of traditional Croatian foods and lots of local spots. We're going to be traveling all around this part of the world, so there are tons more videos to come. Remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.